Listen, Carlos, I love you. You gave us the next 15. You gave us R&B Divas, R&B Divas LA. You gave us BET Presents the Encore. And I'm going to probably be the only one to say this because I know everybody's pretty much up your ass right now. And you call yourself the king of reality TV. But honestly, you're slowly starting to become the Tyler Perry of reality TV. Can we talk about it? Carlos. Oh, Carlos. Carlitos, Carlitos. Carlos King. First of all, <laughs> if you're new to this channel, my name is Scott Santana, aka Ch 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 and we are back for another motherfucking commentary video, ho. Okay, now listen. First things first, okay? If I didn't say it, then it wasn't said. So don't go putting things in my mouth, baby. Don't go putting words in my mouth. Instead, put a dick, okay? And second of all, I talk shit but I'll also write hits, okay? So go ahead and stream my music while you at it, right? So today I wanted to speak. And I'm laughing because it's just like, I don't want this to come across messy, but I mean, Carlos, you're a messy bitch. So listen, messy means messy, okay? It's messy Monday up in this house, right? Carlos, 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 we gotta talk. We have to talk. Baby, we gotta talk. Carlos King has given us some of the best years of reality television period i mean y'all still go up for his work on roa okay real housewives of atlanta y'all say that you know back when the ninis and the phaedras and the kims were on a show like that that was the golden years of real housewives of atlanta and you know of course that was the time when carlos was there and as a producer he did his fucking job like he made sure storylines came out you know the plot kept moving you know whereas now in 2023 we're kind of over every season being around some sort of gate like we've had snake gate we've had dungeon gate we've had this gate that gate roach gate like we're over it. Like, we're getting it out, right? We're over the cast coming together and focusing on one sole topic or conjuring up some sort of, like, rumor preseason to kind of make that whole season about that and jumping and piling on one person. And Carlos is kind of the person that made sure everybody on the cast clocked in, right? And so while there's so much good that we could say about you, Carlos, like, again, Real Housewives of Atlanta, the golden years, and then the next 15, amazing fucking show, R&B Divas LA, like R&B Divas, the original, like Hollywood Divas, like there's so many of us that literally tweet you every day asking you to bring that shit the fuck back, and that's what the fuck we would like you to do instead of doing this bullshit that you're doing now, because we about to get into it, bitch, we about to get, we about to get the fuck into it, okay, as the king of reality TV, the self-proclaimed king of reality TV, you must know that there's going to be some sort of criticism, some sort of opinion, some sort of Scott Santana out there ready to give their opinion and share their thoughts about what the all is going on inside of the kingdom reign entertainment studio platforms okay so let's go ahead and get into it if y'all want to know what the fuck prompted this video right here it's love and marriage okay love and marriage as a whole i'm not gonna say huntsville i'm not gonna say dc i'm gonna just say we tired of the shit we're tired of it love and marriage ran a good course it ran a good course okay and that was you know the prom days was when you know you had mel and then you had what's the other boy name listen see see how i don't even watch the show but you had the two guys i mean well <laughs> Look at the, look at me lying. You had the two people, right? You had the male and the, and the husband, right? Martel having a brain fart right now, but you had Mel and Martel going at it against each other. Then you had Coleslaw on the slide. You had everything going on with their storyline and the side baby and all of that. But now it's to a point where it's like nobody is clocking in. Nobody is clocking in, okay? It's like everybody is looking to still grasp onto the Martell Hope story, the the Mel, the Melody story, you know? And it's just like nobody's really willing to come forward and be honest about what it is that they're going through or what it is that's going on in their lives. And it's crazy because 
you know, I could have sworn that a couple of weeks ago, Carlos. <laughs> I could have sworn a couple of weeks ago you were like one of the people that was like, oh, Robin should get fired because she needs to come forward with her storyline. She needs to come forward and tell her truth and express this, that, and the third. But yet you're also the same person that has also in the past gone up for Phaedra, right? We got to make it make sense. We have to make it make sense, right? Because as a king of reality TV, you should be able to objectively look at your own show and say, okay, yeah, the fans are tired. Okay, because if nothing else, if nothing else, just look at the YouTube reviews, right? Just look at the re YouTube reviews. Just look at what the comments are saying. Just look at what the people are saying outside of the pages that you own. But like what people are actually saying under the hashtags and under these YouTube videos and these YouTube comments, like people are tired of getting the same shit over and over. And it's just like, what is the purpose of Mel even being there? It's like, she doesn't even like the cast. It's like, she's barely interacting with them. We're barely seeing her. Or, you know, if we are seeing her, then it's everybody trying to latch onto their story instead of like, you know, and then if we do get more of the Scott brothers, it's just like, then it, it's a mess. It's a mess. And I say all of that to say, now we get to a point where it's recently been announced that Love and Marriage Huntsville is coming back for another season. Coming back for another, first of all, because let's talk about it, right? Because not everybody lives in TV world, not everybody's a YouTuber, not everybody understands the way that this shit works, right? Love and Marriage had its couple of seasons and then pandemic, then it was one season where they didn't do a reunion. And then somewhere over like the last year, I guess it was some sort of new deal that Carlos and his company signed to where it's like, okay, we're no longer going to have like 15 episode, you know, seasons, but now we're going to have a season where it's double the season. And then we do a part A and a part B, which was confusing for a lot of people because people were like, okay, is this season four part B or is this season five? Because you had the cast saying one thing, you had Carlos saying one thing, then you had, you know, the directory guide saying another thing and it just was fucking confusing and then now we get to a point where we literally just had the fucking reunion a couple of months ago and then now all of a sudden we have a brand new season that is ready to premiere don't believe me let's go ahead and get into it okay so this is according to vibe right it says owns love and marriage huntsville returns for another season the new season well, the new episodes will feature new faces and celebrate its 100th episode on April 29th. OWN Network's Love and Marriage Huntsville is returning for its anticipated new season. The show's return to Saturday nights is set for April 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Melody, Martel, Kimmy, Maurice, Marcel, Letitia, Tiffany, you know, all the people that y'all know. Okay. Um, ready to explore love and life as Black real estate professionals. Oh, oh this is the first season they're doing that? Oh, Okay. Okay, they trying to go back to the oh, uh, trying to go back to the court for um. Uh, okay, um, love and marriage hunt bills uh, newest iteration will focus on the black professionals' lives as they attempt to navigate their work and relationships throughout Huntsville. A la the forthcoming season will add three new personalities to the show's main cast: Stormy, her husband Courtney, and Tisha's cousin. Uh, uh, okay, this is why I stop. This is why I stop. This is why I stop. This is why I stop because that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. So not like, what's the difference this season is that, ooh, Stormy and the cousin are finally new additions, but we've already been introduced. Like, help me understand why we already back within two fucking months. Like, what content, what has fucking happened where it was just like, oh my God, we have to film and get this. And oh my God, we have to automatically rush and put out a whole other season other than money and fame. Because that's what it's becoming, Carlos. That's what it's becoming. And again, everybody might be up your ass. And granted, for certain things, I'm like, yeah. Next 15, yeah. R&B divas, yeah. Hollywood divas, yeah. But it's something about this goddamn motherfucking show that is growing stale and it's no longer working. It's no longer working. It's no longer working. Bell Collective will be back for a season three. We will all love it and gag. Okay. Bell Collective had came back for a season two and had some new additions and kind of honestly felt like a brand new show. Like same show, but like new, like it felt like a reboot, but it worked, right? And when you drop the next 15, completely different. So it's like from show to show, there are obvious like different, I don't, I don't even know what you call it, but like obvious different styles of the show. Like, you cannot compare the next 15 to a R&B Divas. You cannot compare R&B Divas to Love and Marriage Huntsville. You cannot compare Love and Marriage Huntsville to Bell Collective. So I will say that with every show, there is like, like every show stands alone, right? 
So it's not necessarily like a Carlos King flaw throughout all of the shows. But when it comes to Love and Marriage Huntsville and when it comes to Love and Marriage DC, there's a flaw, right? Because not only have, be have people literally been complaining for years about Huntsville, but people were complaining when DC aired, right? We, we thought that, ooh, having Monique there, you know, Street Fighter, okay, from Potomac, okay, those of y'all might know her as Street Fighter from Potomac, okay, aka Monique Samuels. We all thought, oh my God, having her on Love and Marriage DC, oh my God, it's going to change her image, it's going to do this, it's going to do that, it's going to make the show so much better, and it wasn't, it was boring. Check the YouTube reviews, check the YouTube comments, okay, not just the comments on your personal page, Carlos, okay, or the page, you know, at a Love and Marriage Huntsville, that of course they're going to love it. No, check the YouTube receipts. People did not give a fuck that Monique was there. Matter of fact, Monique made it worse, made herself look worse, which is why she ain't back for a second season because she realized that she can't, she can't multi, um, what, what do you call it, micromanage her image. She can't, you know, and the cast gave nothing. And even though this season of DC started off a little bit stronger, you know, people felt like, okay, well, you know, feels a little bit fresher, feels a little bit more authentic now that, you know, the demon isn't there anymore. And, it, you know, people have a chance to shine in their own right. It's still dragging. You have your very own character on the show, Winter, who did a whole interview on Ooh Ladies First, speaking about her experience and speaking about how, like, yeah, what I found, I don't know what the fuck they showing on TV, but, like, it ain't making sense chronologically because it's showing shit out of order. And da, 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 da. So I don't know what's going on with the producers and the storyline, you know, I don't know, I don't know what's going on and what y'all are trying to craft, I don't know if there wasn't enough drama, I mean, Winter said that there was enough drama, but I don't know if y'all are trying to create and craft and conjure up certain storylines to present a certain, I don't know, but it's not working at this point, it's not working at this point, point. and the main point of this goddamn video is the fact that this show comes back April 8th, and we just had the fucking reunion a couple of months ago, like, what happened to the good old days of six months on, six months off, right? Like, Carlos, how many years did you spend on Real Housewives of Atlanta? Don't act like you do not know. Don't act like you don't know. You know how this shit work. You know how it work. So why are we getting to Love and Marriage Huntsville and feeling like we got to hurry up and rush this shit? Because honestly, and if I'm being completely honest, which I'm going to be because this is my channel, I feel like you are secretly in some sort of competition with Andy Cohen. I love the fact that you love housewives. I really do. And I hope that I am not working myself out of a potential future opportunity of working with you or a potential. You know, I, listen, I'm not trying to burn a bridge, but Carlos, Carlos, we love your work. We do. But we want to continue loving your work. And we don't want to see you go down the same path as, as a Medea. Mm, you know what I mean? Like, we don't want to see you be typecasted or fall into a, okay, written by Carlos King, produced by Carlos King, edited by Carlos. We don't want you to fall into that right but there might be a little because a lot of people are saying like okay is it fame is it money like because why are you rushing out these episodes like give it a break like let them have time to go back to natural life and like six months on six months off like give this shit time to marinate but when you pop back up like literally not even six months after a reunion, but a couple of months, not even a whole season. And I mean, season like winter, spring, fall, like not even a whole season after the reunion, it does look like it's a money grab. And in turn, that turns viewers off. That means that we're now looking at the show as, okay, this is low budget. This is quality. Oh, this shit is fit. Like, and Carlos, you've been in the game long enough to know, like, you don't want that. Like, you don't want your viewers to turn on you. You want them to tune in every week. And the last thing that you want motherfuckers to be sitting here saying is that this shit is fake. You don't want that. You do not fucking want that. And that's why I personally feel like it might be a little competition. Now, Carlos, not saying that you are, but do not get to a point where you start feeling like, because I'm no longer on Bravo, because I'm no longer doing Housewives, that I now have to make sure that all of my shows are just as big, just as legendary, just as... Because there seems, from the outside looking in, it seems to be some sort of imaginary bar that you've set for yourself. And it's at Housewives and Andy Cohen. And then, you know, when you review the shows and then you talk about it on your podcast and you have these other, you know, housewives on, on your projects, it, a lot of people have said that it feels like you talk more about housewives than you do your own shit. 
And then when you turn around and rush out a product that quick, it's like, well, did you give a damn? Or are we giving a damn because we're numbers driven and results driven and we want to match Housewives and we want to show like, or, you know, we see that Housewives of Potomac is, is off the air and then we got a couple of months before, you know, Atlanta slides in. So let's just go ahead and slide Huntsville right in there so we can fill that demographic and that's like, it comes off a certain way. It does. It does. But let's go ahead and take a look at Carlos' um, Instagram, okay? Because I just want to, you know, see, let, let's get into what the, some of the people I'm talking about, okay? Because maybe I'm making shit up. But, I mean, I don't feel like anybody's going to be in the comments like, Carlos, what the fuck is this? This shit is trash. I feel like everybody's going to be like, oh, my God, yes, 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 yes. And, I mean, I even saw a couple of videos where, because I don't want it to come off messy, but, I'm, but hey. Um, I saw a couple of videos where I saw people hyping this shit up, and it's like, what are we hyping up? What, what are we hyping up? It has not even been three, four goddamn months. Like, what are we hyping up? We're, we're excited for what to come back? For them to come back and do what? Because if we really want to get into last season and talk about how, like, all of that was stretched out, that little fight was stretched out, and, like, the last half of the season did not fucking make sense, and it felt like we was taking scenes from here and putting it here and editing, was, it was choppy, because we could really get into it. But hold up, let's go ahead and get into the Instagram. So Carlos, of course, you know, promoted the new season on his Instagram. And it's his own number one show returns. Love and Marriage Huntsville, new season, April 8th. Now, says they're back. Love and Marriage Huntsville, new season returns. You know, of course, he's going to promote it. This is his show. Okay, but you have people in the comments, right? Now, who is this? The real... Girl, I don't know. It's a verified bitch. But she says, I absolutely love the franchise. My favorite guilty pleasure. Too bad I don't have a husband. Well, well, and I have opinions about that. I, I do. Okay. And, and the viewership and why, you know, some people like the show. But we do have somebody saying, and Mel is still on the show. Why? Valid fucking question. Right. And that has what? 82, 92 replies. I can't see. Child, they said, I agree, but she is also a woman scorned and a woman who went through public humility. When a person goes through a divorce, it's easy to push people away and reside in a better place, reside in a bitter place. She has to heal and then she can get back to, okay, I'm not reading all that. Bitch, I'm not reading all that. Bitch, I'm not reading all that. See, I'm so over the trauma bonding content, but I guess that's a different video for a different day. Because that's not really something that Carlos necessarily takes part in. You know what I mean? Like, mm, when I think of the shows, R&B Divas, Next 15, nah, nah. Carlos doesn't really push out trauma bonding content. If people trauma bond with the content, that's on them. Yeah. So I can't really say that about Carlos, but... No. Mm-mm. 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 Absolutely the fuck not. Absolutely the fuck not. Maybe that's who production is, like, capitalizing off of, like, to tune in and view this shit. So early on like you know what i mean because it has to be something that makes you go oh yeah we just dropped the reunion in january let's turn around and drop a whole new season you know in april okay because you maybe you're betting off of all of those bitter as mir- miserable as okay people that's ready to trauma bond as okay people to tune in and view the goddamn show and then that's how you're gonna get your re- i don't know i don't fucking know but let's go ahead and go back to the Instagram to these goddamn comments, okay? And hopefully they're a little bit shorter because I'm not reading no goddamn novels. Please, no more Mel and Martel arguing the entire season. I- I'm telling you, Carlos, do y'all read the fucking comments, okay? So with there being a... Wait, so will there be a break between DC and Huntsville? Carlos, we having our Saturdays on lock. We be life of forget... Girl, y'all are started. I hope we're not visiting Tasha and Mel for the hundredth time. We need a new storyline, Okay. Why does Mel keep coming back? No shade. She doesn't like anyone. She's not friends with anyone. I don't... Okay. Mel Slade. Okay, but that's not why we're tuning in. Let's read one more. Together or apart, we'd rather them be apart. Mel and Martel cleared this photo. Oh my God, you can't deny it. They look the fuck good. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to keep beating a dead horse. I pretty much said what the fuck I said. Carlos, don't become Tyler Perry. Um, that's my main concern. Don't become Tyler Perry. Please don't. Please don't. Because right now, it's, it's given the Tyler Perry of reality TV. And we can't take nothing away from... Well, yes, we can. Because I was about to say, we can't take nothing away from Tyler Perry. But we can. We can. He's a billionaire. Medea's great. 
da 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 but kind of a one-trick pony, stuck in a lane, stuck in a box, and like, you know, it's very narcissistic type vibes, and like, I gotta do it all, it gotta be me, da 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 And Carlos, I just don't want your productions to get to a place so where... I don't know if it is fame. I don't know if it is money. I don't know if it's a competition between you and self. I don't know if it's a competition between you and Andy and you hoping that he'll retire and you take over his job or you wanting this to be bigger than that. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but let's fix it. Let's fix it. Let's not, because the people are starting to get burnt out. It's starting to get tired. It's starting to get stale. And you don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. So let's keep the people employed, okay? Let's keep let's keep the people employed, okay? Okay, yeah. So let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comment box below. Go ahead and write your opinion down below as if I give a damn. And make sure that you stream my music as if you give a damn, okay? So I love each and every one of y'all. Make sure that you join the Patreon if you miss my old story times so and you want new story times. Join my motherfucking Patreon. Stream my goddamn music. And uh, y'all think that's it, child. If I, listen, if I ain't mention it, it's, it's probably gonna be mentioned in the outro. I'll see y'all hoes. And the motherfucking next one. Bye. And see, that is what we're going to go ahead and end this video. Now, remember, if you hated me for that opinion, don't worry, girl. There's a lot more where that came from. Just make sure that you like, you comment, and you subscribe and turn your notifications on. For extended videos and exclusive content, including full episodes of my new weekly podcast, let's start there. Make sure that y'all go ahead and subscribe to patreon.com slash Santana. And also, make sure to try to join the bandit mailing list in the description box so that way y'all hoes never miss a video. Make sure that y'all follow me on Twitter so that we can engage and argue back and forth and, you know, just stay tuned for the hot shit that's coming to you, bitch. Okay? I love y'all. Bye. I'm trying to fuck now, so maybe let's dance. Fuck up my baby right here on my list, man. I'm trying to take it to my place.